Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo, doing your next 24 hours love reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, this reading is for all and only Virgos, so some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, there is a link in the description box below this video. Okay, and if you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe on my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. Okay. Hmm. All right. So we've got the past, present, and the future. We are looking here at, we have Virgo Energy, Libra Taurus, and Scorpio, and Aquarius. All right, let's take a look at this past energy, okay? I'm seeing someone here in the past who took a risk, I almost said Rick, so maybe somebody's name is Rick or Richard, um, took a risk to, um, it's amazing that there's, it's three major arcanas, so it's pretty much like, not by choice, it was like there was nothing else left to do, and it feels like somebody that you were connecting with, you know, wanted to go off on their own and be free, um, have some kind of new... <laughs> rebirth or transformation in their life. I feel like this person viewed you as the empress, someone who is, you know, abundant. Um, the empress represents all the queens, so the queen of cups, queen of pentacles, um, queen of fire, and uh, the queen of swords. And also, I'm just using as an energy for to say like divine uh, uh, feminine versus masculine it could be masculine as well so it really just depends on um, your situation but whether you're male or not <clears throat> the empress is in the feminine energy she is soft she is nurturing she is caretaking she is kind she is gentle but she is firm she is solid she's a good communicator um, she's bold, but she's also patient, okay? Um, she is someone who's very resourceful. It's like the total package the Empress is. And um, I feel like your person viewed you in this way. But I just kind of feel like there was some conflicting energies here. There was a lot of retreat pulling away and then coming back or taking a risk or have, trying to have a new beginning with you in the past. So it feels like there was like a lot of back and forth energy. Um, let's get a little more clarity here. Um, you know, your person, like it was always, not always, but it kind of feels like in the past that they were kind of like, okay, you know, let's, let me just let things unfold unnaturally and see how things go. Um, let go of any control issues, but then maybe at times they might have ghosted or pulled away from you. Let's take a look here at the Fool. Okay, here's death again. Yeah, I feel like your person was was really trying to overcome some struggles. You know. The death card represents big changes and endings and uh, a need to move on. But I feel like they wanted to move on, but then they wanted to move forward with you. A lot of conflicting energy here with this person that you may have experienced with them. They might have said, oh, yeah, I'm going to, you know, I'm going off on a new adventure. I'm doing my own thing. But then they keep coming back to you and trying to have a new thing or something with you. Okay. So, yeah, wanting to try to, like, build something with you. And then it feels like then they would leave again. So it's very often on cold energy that I feel here in the past with somebody. You know, yeah, we're going to do something together here with the three. We're in harmony. We're in union. 
you know, um, threes can represent birth, so it may have had something to do with birth or having a child. Um, and the three of pentacles can represent, you know, teamwork, marriage. So I kind of feel like your person was like one minute on, next minute off. Okay, queen of pentacles, there you are. That This is how they viewed you. More than just being a Virgo, but, but more in the sense of like having it all. You were the total... Like the everything for them. Um, your person has control issues and they have a tendency to disappear, or at least they did in the past. Okay, wheel of look at all this major arcana. All right, they're struggling trying to change. I feel like your person really wanted to do right by you, but they couldn't come to grips with themselves. A lot of fear. Death can death can be um also, like, um, sorry, my microphone, um, my ch I, I had to charge my phone. Um, death is, can represent, like, the grim reaper, you know, the, the fear, great fear in this person. I feel like they really wanted to be in some type of marriage or partnership with you, but it seems like it was very difficult in the past for them to do that. So they were kind of, like, on the fence in the past. Um... There could have been family influence or involvement with this person. Let's see. What's the future? Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life and religious factors here. All right. You know, Virgo, currently there's something that's telling me these are your cards. There's a lot of differences in ink and go in congruencies between you and your your person your your belief system your morals your belief system you operate very differently you, you know maybe one of you is, uh, believes in god and the other believes in buddha or you know one of you is an atheist and one's an agnostic or one's like you know whatever there's religious differences okay and um it feels like right now virgo i mean i feel like you're freeing yourself um but I also feel like your person sees these differences presently, um, the beliefs, the way you communicate, the way you operate together. I feel like your person here is freeing themselves from controlling beliefs. What does that even mean? You know, um, your person might have like picked up tips on how to control a relationship be a player, keep you waiting, keep you wanting, keep you in a position of desperation, like kind of like mind games or tactics. And, you know, I don't know if you were dealing with someone who was like really high on the narcissistic trade. I don't know if this stuff was intentional or it was just done so that they could be in control of the relationship. So they could um, be spared time to sort things out or figure out what they wanted and perhaps leaving you kind of hanging is how I feel. Um, so if you're presently moving yourself away from this person because you're just feeling that, well, there's just no compatibility, I feel like this person is going to keep watching you. You know, they're going to offer up another opportunity. Um Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups and offer and then try to initiate out of a sense of like, I feel like because they, they just keep their eye on you. It's almost as if they don't want to let you go. They want to just kind of like stay in touch or keep communicating or what have you so that um, it's always a potential though here. When we have two Aces, that's always potential. Oh, we we can do this. It's It almost kind of feels like you're always having to start over with somebody, with the same person. And the cycle repeats and now we're, you know, they, or they they show up with something for you, a gift or, an, or a concept or an idea or something um, to give you like a sense of hope of some sort. Um, they come in with like saying, I'm here, I'm ready to invest my love and invest my effort. And 
you know, um, I want to be able, like, we can do this. Let's promote our relationship. Let's try to make it go forward. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Queen of Cups. So, Scorpio Cancer. Um, Piscean Energy. Um, yeah, they, they kind of make an offer for you here. And it's emotionally driven. This person, I do feel like they have feelings for you but they can never get past it's, it's hard for this thing it's always easier to just have a restart it they can never just not never but it seems like because it's always like a restart or it's a new start again with them it never goes further than a potential for some reason it's the cups yeah the moon because their emotions they're very conflicted deep inside um this person just lives in a place of deception or or um confusion i feel like in their in their mind in their heart in their emotions they might have um a watery moon placement all right let's see what this why do they just keep watching you oh, okay the shadow side so there's a lot of toxicity with this person it's like if they can't have you they'll find a way to keep tabs on you but if like if they if you let go or something or you free yourself and you just are done with it um but that shadow side that's the devil you know this person is like obsessed with you so it's kind of like leaves you in a stalemate right with them so i feel like they're they're, they're they will try to like communicate with you when you free yourself when you let go and you just even if you've already let go of this person when you, you like it's it you know you have it on your heart that I just, it, it, the pain of it is too, is much worse than the goodness that comes from, you know, my heart feel, it feels like I see you just kind of, you know, grasping your breastplate and just saying it's, it hurts more than it feels good. So that's Capricorn energy, Cancer, Pisces. It just feels like, um, there's a heavy duty of like deception or unknown, unforeseen things, things that your person isn't aware of in themselves. And yet they have this obsessive need to keep tabs on you or watch you or, you know, maybe even communicate and with curious questions like, what are you doing? What's going on? That kind of thing. Where have you been? Or who are you talking to? Like, it's very, it's very devilish type of energy. And it's, doesn't feel very good and I know this isn't like the biggest greatest happy <laughs> happy ending kind of thing here I mean at least so far that we've gone but it for some of you there may be something here that you just need confirmation on with a relationship with somebody that you you try I feel I do I'm not really 100% sure what's going on with you but I know with this person they're always like right on the edge of going forward with you. And then they pull back or they don't, or they, or they try to find a way to just maybe keep you there until they're, they get over their fear till they're ready. And that might be draining for you, Virgo. Okay. So in the future, you have engagement and chemistry. Hmm. Well, Virgo, you are, you will be uh, in a commitment with this person because there is a very strong magnetic attraction chemistry with this person. There's no doubt. Um, I don't know how, exactly how you're going to get there, but I feel like if your person is trying to reach you and you're just like, I'm out, or you're just not responding or because you kind of know that, you know, well, I, you may talk to them in a friendly way, but you, you've got your expectations are very low because you know that they need to deal with their stuff, whatever they need to come to terms with things on their own first. And you're not really planning to entertain anything or um, invest with them. I feel like um, maybe you'll have that conversation um, and tell them that or if you if you already have had that conversation you may just kind of like I don't really feel like you're officially ignoring the person but I just kind of feel like you're just gonna pull out your energy redirect into 
either someone else or something else and just um, let them sort things out on their own. But they've got the hermit here. Okay, there you go. Six of Swords, facing their fears and moving forward, overcoming. That's what the Six of Swords is, making some kind of necessary transition. I feel like your person will sense that you're freeing yourself from them and, and they're going to have to do the same. And I feel like they don't want to. Like I said, they have a hard time letting you go, Virgo. And I see them here with the Four of Pentacles still again, in that energy, you know, um, this can be a very possessive energy. This is greed and they're very greedy for you. And they do wish for the long term with you. And I see them going forward that they kind of come to terms with, like they're gonna have to face their fears and get over things or whatever they're dealing with. You can't fix it for them and you're gonna stop trying. Maybe just be a friend. Um, but they want that long-term security. And they desire to have that safety and bring that towards you as well. That's what the Ten of Pentacles is. It could even be moving, moving in together, buying a new home in the future. Um, let's see this Ten of Pentacles. Okay, there's a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is someone who makes bold moves here. Um, the King of Wands is like, you know, a powerful leader. So this person getting up this courage showing a sign of strength and courage to give you what you want and to bring you what you want. Um, but you need to know that, I just feel like there's a caveat here that you need to be wary of. Them coming in possible with proposal or coming in with engagement or wanting to be in a committed relationship, you need to understand that that ring or that those words do not automatically, magically mean that this person has completely changed because this is about them and this is about them not wanting to let you go and being willing to cross this bridge for you. However, the Four of Cups can sometimes be a card of still being um, apathetic, indifferent to love, or as they say, emotionally unavailable. That theme is going to ring true still for this person. You know, just because you walk through a door doesn't mean your internal core has changed. This is taking a risk and giving you what you want. However, they still come in with this Four of Cups energy here. And so what does that mean for you? How does that, how does that look for you? You want to be with this person more than anything, but do you want to or can you deal with this energy right and this is a surprise gift so i will tell you also that it is going to be a bit of surprise them coming in to give you what you want but for some of you it may not be enough anymore some of you may still want this commitment and this thing but you also want a healthy relationship and with the devil card sitting here it seems like your person has a lot more work to do than just coming in with, okay, I'll cross this bridge for us. Um, I'll give you what you want, just don't leave me. Or just don't, you know, don't end the connection. But for you, it's like, it seems like it has to be a lot more than that now, Virgo, for you. So what does that mean? They have to go get some help or they have to, maybe they have a chemical addiction of some sort or something going on. They have to get some help. They have to seek some mentorship or, you know, some spiritual counseling. Um, hopefully, if you guys decide to, you know, get into a relationship again or rehash things or just come back around however long you've been apart, um, it, it really couldn't hurt for both of you to go in to get some, like, good counseling together in order to just kind of, like, ensure that the relationship will progress beautifully but both partners have to obviously be willing to do that I really don't understand why people just don't do that from the beginning <laughs> unless they're like completely securely attached I mean it certainly doesn't hurt to get some training if you're going to spend your lifetime together and to really help someone like at least good six months work with like a spiritual coach to help you both understand one another and how to communicate let's take a look at this person's messages 
Denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. Okay, so Virgo, I do feel like I said this person is going to come in and bring to you what it is you want. But you need to really like listen to this message if this resonates for you and take a look that just because they're coming in with us again does not mean that everything is just going to be Skittles or rainbows. There seems to be a lot more work that needs to be done. Release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. So I feel like right now, Virgo, you, you probably do need to just completely release. And just radical acceptance means it's a radical, bold move. You don't want to accept this person. You don't want to forgive them for the things that they've done. But it's a radical move for you to do something, to radically just accept it, even if you don't want to, act as if, and just surrender just every day you got to wake up and radically like out of your out of your element element and just really say you know what okay i accept that this is how things are between us and i'm surrendering and letting letting go and you may have to do that every single morning because i think it's going to take some practice um because for you virgo i feel like you're someone who really wants to try to make something work and well you know it just kind of feels like your lab partner is just not showing up to do any, you know, to help with the project. And it feels like you're the one who's carrying the weight of the whole relationship. And it's too, it's too much of a burden. You, you can't do it. You can't, have, you can't love, what's the word I want to say? You, you can't have, I mean, you could have it. This is me tripping over my words. It can't be you being the only one who's got enough love for the both of you. It has to be teamwork. And your person knows this. So allow them to, like they're aware. And for whatever reason that they keep retreating, um, you know, and just letting it be, you know, I mean, you know, you leave a flower outside in a flower pot you know it has to be watered every day and it has to have sun you know and and um or else it will just rot and it will die you know i mean i don't know i just kind of feel like it's like that goes both ways i bury myself in work to forget you or to not think about you so it's pretty much what they do so if you you try to reach out they'll say oh i'm busy or i'm I'm working or I have something else or whatever, work-related things or, I don't know, cleaning out their garage. You know, it's kind of an avoidant tactic because this person has um, like an emotional unavailability thing here. Um, they just have this avoidance, avoiding, avoiding going too deep or connecting or they just cannot, maybe are not capable of doing it. But they fantasize about you, absolutely. They know they were careless with you. They hide behind material things, money, cars, homes, jewelry, um, you know, they just put like obstacles in the way, but they do want to tell you how they feel. And I do feel like they are going to take a leap of faith. Okay. But I would just keep your expectations very low with this person um, because it seems to be maybe, I always like to say, don't. Don't make your decisions based on this person's words or based on their actions. If you're going to make any decisions about something, you need to like clearly see the pattern. Look at the patterns because patterns will tell you everything. Sure, you can consider their words and their actions, but it's not just those two alone. It's all three. You have to look at the patterns because people can walk away from you and then come back and tell you they miss you and they love you. And then they could do it four, five, six times. And every time you would fall for it. But if you take a step back and say, wait, this is a pattern. This is a cycle that keeps getting repeated. You have to break the pattern if it's unhealthy and toxic, which with the double card there, I do see that it is. Oh, they can't stop thinking about you because they're obsessed with you and they know they cross the line with you. They have some good news they do want to share with you. Um, and they hope that you'll be happy for them. But at the same time, um, oh, they are trying to become a better person. So that's good. Um, I feel like even with that right there, um, if they're trying, if they really are trying to become a better person, 
um, give them that, you know, but don't expect that when this, this purse, because you're logical, Virgo, and you're, you're very sensible. When they return and they're like, yes, let's do this. I'm ready to do this. Everything will be fine. Let's go full steam ahead. Don't expect to that like all of a sudden it's magically going to be okay. You have to take your time and go slow because I don't, people don't change overnight. But if they're making an effort to change and you're seeing it, then that's very positive. And if you want to give that, give the relationship a chance to progress, then definitely go for it. I mean, I do feel like there will be, there is a very strong attraction between the two of you. And I do see future commitment and or possible engagement here for some. All right, Virgo. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Again, please do hit like, share, subscribe on the video. And a link is in the description box below if you would like to get a personal reading. And I will be here tomorrow, Saturday, um, between 11 and 1 Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Not here, but on my other channel, Loon Pie Tarot. You want to pop into the live chat at that time and you can get a mini reading from me, $20 for three cards. Um, all right, you guys, I'll see you soon. Take care.